uh, we are working on Sun Solaris and IBM Vestware. I already took, uh, I remember I took uh, last year IBM Vestware class with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, great, great. Excellent. Yeah. How about others? Hi, Ashwa. Sure. This is Ombir. Like, I've, I've been working with this Asif in BMO. Prior to that, I was working with Scotiabank. And oh, Scotiabank is Toronto? Yeah. Ah, yes. I was there. I was there. I was working for the same Scotch Bank. So, I was asking that you joined the group that you joined the session or not. It started. Yes, yes. It's 8.30. Yes, that so, link will come to you. It's SVR. Okay. 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 So, Sajjad is also joining. Okay. So, Shiva, which, where you were working? Scotia Bank Toronto? Yes, yes. For Scotia Online Toronto. Banking? Not for Scotia. Uh, yeah, my client was Scotia Bank. Through IBM, I was working there. Okay, okay. So, you were supporting WebSphere? Uh, yeah, WebSphere and WebLogic. Okay. Actually, I was working for Scotia Online Banking. They are using WebSphere ND7. Um, yeah, when I when I took uh, IBM Vesper training, I was working with the Scotia Online Banking 2014. Uh -huh. And BMO is using standalone Vesper 7 and 8.5.5 ND. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. So, so reason yeah, yeah reason we are moving to uh, trying to learn JBoss is because Scotia is also moving to JBoss like they have hired a Red Hat consultant and mm -hmm. Red Hat offered them services so they are testing in Dev JBoss also TD is a great bank in Canada Toronto they are also moving to JBoss like it's, to switch the company. yeah yeah so it's still it's in planning phase like it is not yet decided yeah. oh yes a joined yeah, yeah I see Sajad also muted himself. Excellent. Great. Thanks for that, Digesh. How about others? Uh, yeah, Shiva, I'm Digesh was... here. Uh, yeah. I don't know JBoss. I just know WebSphere. So I'm a new student, and uh, uh, you will have a lots of questions from me. Yeah, yeah, we also don't know JBoss. It's new for us. But I, I was just telling why we are learning JBoss. Like the oh. main reason is market scenario, like market is moving towards JBoss. So we think oh. like there will be a lot of job opportunities and in terms of like our market value will be more if we learn JBoss. Okay, okay. I mean sure or not, let me just check with Daniel. Daniel, you're there in the call? Yes. Daniel, Hello. you're there in the call? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. I see two people in with the R name. Uh, I have... Uh, both of us are from our, our, uh, our consultancy. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. I, I will check it out and I will dismiss one of them. Excellent. No problem. Uh, so let's, uh, I'm not sure if SVR people have told you or not. Okay. But in my session, questions comes at free of cost. No need to pay any extra amount for asking questions. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I have SVR have clarified this one. So you can ask me any number of questions you want. Okay. Uh, if I have the answers, I'll say yes. Yeah. I'll answer the questions. Otherwise, I'll do my homework and I'll get back to you. Okay. Ashiva. But questions comes at free of cost in my training. Okay. Good. Thank Ashiva, you. Ashiva, one more question. You used to have your WebLogic website. Are you also updating JBoss stuff on your website? Uh, no. Yeah. A couple of things have been posted, but we all got engaged with our own personal life. I recently I recently right, got blessed right. with a baby boy. Uh, so I'm jam packed with the things now. Okay. So that's that's the biggest hurdle I have now. Shiva, uh, this Digesh yeah. here. One more thing, I just want to know because you stayed 8:30 p.m. We start the shash, the training, right? Yes. And yes. it be uh, like around 9:30 or 10, something like that. Because you know, 8:30 is the dinner time. Kids are How awake and they time? just. Hello? Would this time be okay with you all? Whatever the time we started today? No, no, like I'm talking about one hour late. Oh, uh, okay. Guess, uh, let me just try to paraphrase myself once again. I try to ensure that I don't do it uh, as much as possible, but sometimes I come from a place 
where the environment is highly unstable. I can't predict when the internet would be there and when the UPS will be there. But I have a backup for everything. I have a backup for my internet. I have a backup for my power. But sometimes something goes wrong. Okay, I might need to call off the session uh, on a short notice. So let's say I'm stuck with an production issue, I might not be able to join the session. So in all those scenarios, kindly excuse me, okay? I'll ensure that I don't do it that frequently. I'll try to minimize it as, uh, as much as possible. But sometimes if I'm stuck and if I'm not able to do it, kindly excuse me for that. Okay? Okay. okay. Perfect. So this is a fourth point which I thought of highlighting it, okay? Apart from this, uh, the couple of questions which is very commonly uh, observed or which is very commonly asked is that, sure, what is the duration of the training? Okay, the duration of the training is close to 20 to 25 hours, okay, plus or minus here and there, okay. So, it takes, assuming one hour per day, it takes around 20 to 25 days to complete our training and depending upon the agreement you have with the SVR people, they might share the uh, recordings also with you. Okay, that's another important point. Okay, and the sixth important point is that, okay, software. Uh, when we when we talk about the theory and when I do the lab, it's obvious that you people will also need to do the lab so that you get a good command of the subject. So for that, okay, no need to worry. I'll give you the JMS application server software as well as the Red Hat Linux operating system. I'll give you a uh, VDI file or I'll give you an image file which you can have it on your local system and you can use it for any amount of the time. Or if you say that Shiva, uh, one question over here, we don't want to do it on a Linux, we want to do it on a Windows, I'm even okay with that. So we are all Linux, we prefer to do it in Linux. <clears throat> Excellent. So then let's try to do it only in a Linux based operating system and if you have the software well and good, if you don't have the software, as I've already shared my email ID, I would request every one of you to drop a test email only from your Gmail IDs to my ID. Here, yeah, only from your Gmail ID. The reason one, why is that I share the software from my Google Drive. Here. Yeah? Okay. Anyone, any, any questions? No, and uh, we want you to focus more on a practical time, like practical stuff than the theoretical. Yes, yeah, definitely. Uh, see, uh, I generally try to cover the theory first, then the lab, because the reason why is that, okay, if I say only about the lab, it will be very difficult for you people to do the prediction, uh, mm -hmm. to get the background score of that, okay? Mm -hmm. In a similar way, if I try to do only theory, if I don't do the lab, it, it, it doesn't make any sense for you. So yes. I'll try to combine both theory and the lab and try to be as much informative as I can be. But as I said, okay, very seriously, you can ask me any questions, okay, related to the JVAS, okay? I'll be happy mm -hmm. to help you. If I don't have the answer, I'll take my time and I'll come back to you. Perfect, thank you. Here? Yeah? Yep. yep. Anyone? Any more questions? So, uh, Shiva, is it possible if you uh, would you like to share some certification material uh, or some guidance? Uh, as, if I, as, as you already know, okay, uh, and, and since every one of you are already working, so okay, uh, we are asking very mandatory yeah. for the exam. So, what I suggest is that you buy the book and, frankly speaking, whatever I'm trying to talk or I'm trying to discuss will be there from that book. So whatever I'm trying to teach you or train you, try to do the lab and immediately go through the specific chapter. Okay? So in this way, if we can do that and if we can complete the book in line with our training, the biggest advantage you have is that you can comfortably clear the exam. But again, this is unofficial. My yeah, course, we are asking unofficial. Yeah. yeah. Clear? So, if you all want to give the exam, my suggestion is that buy that book. Okay, okay. And that book doesn't have an expiry saying that if you buy the book now, within six months you need to give the exam, otherwise book so is invalid, nothing of that sort will be there. Do they give PDF also? No, they don't give the PDF. They only give the uh, book that Red Hat certified uh, 
JB248, something like that would be there. Take the JB248 book, okay? It is valid for one year. The voucher they gave you with that book is valid for one year. Okay. And my course will take around 20 to 25 hours. So once in, in, in line with that trading, you can refer to that book, okay? And uh, once we are done with the trading, I can do another round of uh, reading or lap in that book, okay? Mm -hmm. And once you're sure that, yep, we have confidence on this book, then go and give the exam. Comfortably can clear the exam. I can How give you that? in Do you have one more question? Uh, before yeah, I started this training, uh, uh, your administrator asked me, you want to make sure, are you going for certification track with Shiva or the uh, career-oriented training? So do you also provide it a certification track training? Uh, no. Uh, other than that, anyone, any more questions? So, sir, tell something about uh, like yourself. Yes, sir? Like, yeah. Okay. I really love that question. I was waiting someone to ask that question. Are you single What's or married? Married, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just got a son. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in India, it's not legal to have a son without marriage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, great. So let me give an introduction about myself. Uh, well, uh, myself, Shiva, Shiva Shankar, that's what people call me in the training world. Uh, but I started my career as a Java JWW developer, worked as a Java developer for close to one and a half years. So later I got an opportunity to switch to the product support with a company called as in BEA, which is right now called as an Oracle. And I was working with that company as a WebLogic server product support engineer. While I was working with them as a WebLogic server product support engineer, I did a self-learning on the WebSphere application server because at that time, how JBoss is right now, the WebSphere was like that. So I did a self-learning on the WebSphere application server and started completely shifting to the middleware administration. And that's how from close to nine and a half years dedicatedly, I am working on the infrastructure side with the primary skills as WebLogic, WebSphere, JBoss, Tomcat, and on both on physical as well as on the cloud hosting. And in my current role, I work as an uh, infrastructure architect, where I try to do the designing of the environments uh, for WebLogic, WebSphere, JBoss, Tomcat. I do provide the solutioning for the implementation on the cloud as well as the physical hosting. Work on the SOW's capacity planning, uh, regular project management stuff, okay? And training is something which has started close to around six or seven years back. I was initially a Java trainer, Java in-person trainer. Then later I was a WebLogic in-person trainer. And uh, But as I told you, when I was more into my uh, middleware administration, I was doing a lot of travel outside India. So I thought it's a time for me to call off myself as an in-person trainer. So I called off myself as an in-person trainer and started doing the online training. I think it's my six and a half or close to seven years as an online trainer where I started training the people on WebLogic, WebSphere, JBoss, Tomcat, and sometimes even on the WebSphere portal also. But portal, I stopped it completely now because of the time constraint. Okay? So which one is your most favorite, WebSphere, WebLogic, or JBoss? WebLogic. Unfortunately, every technology gave me a bread and butter. I'm like a parent to my technologists, so Never a parent hates or says that, hey, I love my this first children a lot. Second children, I love it. Okay, okay. So <laughs> never a parent says that. Is so I'm so also one like that. And I love all my technology. And frankly speaking, in the IT world, okay, the more you learn the technology, the more you have a chance to sustain. <laughs> yeah, very diplomatic answer. <laughs> 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 Nothing like that, yeah. It's yeah. all... Uh, no, seriously speaking, uh, if I say I like WebLogic and I don't like WebSphere, I have people who I'm trained. I think if I remember correctly, oh, I definitely have at least 10 to 15 people whom I train more on the WebSphere when compared to the WebLogic. And nowadays I have the people whom I train more on the JBoss compared to the WebLogic or WebSphere. Yeah. So every technology gave me bread and butter. So for me everything is good. It is equally important. 
and then and any any questions other than this uh, no okay so Else? so from does it know hello yes, sorry someone had a question yeah so so from when we are starting the training that what what date tomorrow, tomorrow itself we still need to pay the money oh no problem you can pay it to me <laughs> just kidding don't do that okay it's you have to pay it to daniel and uh, then let me talk to daniel what what what's the plan or what's the understanding you people have okay let me comment accordingly okay daniel you're there in the call amshi ah uh, sir 